good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. Wednesday is my third favorite day of the week. Um, and we're here already, it's flying by, time is flying by. Um, huge thank you to everybody who uh, commented, who subscribed to our YouTube, who sent us a DM. Don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube, comment, subscribe. We're gonna start getting these out to you guys this weekend. Um, let's get some sunflowers growing. As you can see, they're easy to germinate. We can do it together. Uh, watch the videos on the YouTube channel you subscribe to, and guess what? You'll have all the instructions you need. Um, so today, uh, I thought we would talk about transplanting our seedlings. So these are all the ones that we've grown together. We've got our toilet paper tubes, we've got our Jiffy and Kyer pods, our seed tray, and we even brought out the paper towel. I didn't bring the toilet paper roll down. It worked just as well, but I didn't have time for everything. So we're gonna show you how to transplant them all, but I think first of all, we need to say, what is transplanting? Transplanting is really, really simple. It's to replant a plant in another pot or another place. So essentially, what ends up happening is we've got a little seed tray growing like that, and we all know our plant starts, comes up like this, and he puts out his roots. Well, we also know, as we're keeping them healthy, what happens is it starts putting out more leaves. And as that happens, these roots grow. And what ends up happening, you won't notice it on the top, but your roots are gonna get bound up. So, we need to move to a bigger pot. So, we just go to a bigger pot, we take our plant, and he's all happy, and we've got the roots, and they're doing that. Same thing, now he's got more room to grow, so what's gonna happen? We're gonna get more leaves, we're gonna get more roots, and eventually it'll have to go to another pot, depending on the speed that they grow, what kind of plant it is. So that's why we're going to transplant. Now quickly, we're gonna to touch on what are the benefits of transplanting? Why would we do this? So. As I just showed you, we're allowing those roots to grow in that pot and they're allowed to fill out and they're going to become their own independent root system. If we go straight outside to our garden like that and we plant a couple of seedlings and we keep them apart as they're meant to, we've got our two seedlings. No, that one's way better looking than that one. What the heck happened there? I have no idea. Um, and they're gonna put out their roots. Well, depending on where the moisture is and how the soil is and where the roots can get to, maybe this area right here is an ideal spot for the roots. So, the adventitious roots are coming down. Well, they both find there from two plants. And what happens? They fight. Ah! They get all mad at each other and they fight. That's not great. That's not great for either of those plants. The other thing that can happen as we all know that these plants are alive, they're all different. So again, oh look, darker soil. Probably better, richer, you know, more organic material. And we've got our plants and we put them in. Now, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, this guy does better. Maybe he gets a little bit more sun, maybe a little bit more moisture. Maybe it's a better soil. Maybe it's just a healthier plant and he grows much quicker than this one. Well, what can happen there? I got a yellow marker, everybody, by the way. That is thanks to Brandy. She's the one who makes all this magic happen. I have my yellow marker. So, there's our sun. We know two things about the sun. We know that it helps plant growth, and we know that he wears a top hat, okay? Those are the two things we know about our sun. Well, the sun rays are coming down, and now they can't get to this guy. So by transplanting inside, as opposed to going straight outside, we allow the plants to form independently and healthy and to develop an independent root system. So when they go in there, they've all got a really healthy start and they're ready to go. So enough of this, let's get dirty. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna transplant. So, did you guys start in your toilet paper tubes? There we go. You can see roots coming out of the bottom here. So, we're gonna transplant. Now, we've got options, I just grabbed three. 
we've got round, square, and round pots. Plastic and peat moss. Let's do peat moss to start with. So, we're gonna look, see roughly how much goes in there. I'm gonna take my soil, and I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. I'm gonna make enough room in the middle, approximately, for this to fit. Now, a couple of things you may need when you garden. We need our snips. We need an area that we can get dirty. You may also find that you need a good gardening knife. Again, if you're using a gardening knife, ask for an adult to help. We want everybody to start with the same amount of these, uh, to finish with the same amount of these as they started with. I'm not gonna need it now, I will need it later. So this guy, I'm just gonna very gently unroll my toilet paper and look at that. So the reason we did the peas as well, we had a lot of people asking if you remember on Friday about transplanting a pea and how to do it. So you can see we didn't damage any roots. They're all ready to go. They're nice and long. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set them in there, firm them down gently, and then bring my soil around. And I want the existing soil to match with my new soil. I don't want it too deep. I don't want it too high, I want it to match. Take a little bit more here, cover it like that, and then I'm just gently, gently gonna firm it down, make sure that the soil is off of the crown, and that's it. So now, one thing we cannot forget is just a little drink. Water and light, remember, for these seedlings. Water and light. And there you go. So that was our first one. We're gonna move him to there. So now, the next method we did was we grew in these. Funny, you can still see these cotyledons haven't escaped the seed coat yet, okay? We can't leave it on until those cotyledons are strong enough, but you know what? I'm gonna give these guys a little hand. There we go, we're gonna open them up. It was getting a bit mature, I wanted that to happen. Same thing, we're gonna take our pot, we're gonna take this, we're gonna roughly eyeball where we need to be Take a handful, we're gonna put it in, a little bit more, and then we're gonna set, you know what, I'm gonna have a little smidge more there, and I'm gonna pull it out the middle. Now, I'm gonna use a knife. So some of these, what'll happen is your plant might get stuck under the fabric, or a root might not be able to go too well in the fabric. So with this one here, he managed to rip himself out. He managed to tear himself out. Sometimes they might get stuck and you have to cut them out, um, that's okay to help them. So with this guy, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my knife, and I'm just very gently gonna score the fabric. And that's just gonna help it break down, it's gonna help the roots force their way through. That's pretty much it, just a couple of gentle scores. You can do a few more if you want. Same thing, I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna put him in the middle. Now look at that, I didn't go deep enough. Easy fix, I lift him out, I take out a little bit of soil. I put them back in, voila. Okay, now, I'll take this. We're gonna sprinkle it there. We're gonna firm them down nice and easy. Again, you can see existing and new soil. We're gonna firm him down. Again, we don't wanna crank it, but we do want it firm. Good contact, and Take our handy dandy watering can, and just a shot of water so everything settles in. So that was how we transplanted one of our pods. Next one we'll do is this one. So did your paper towel germinate? So I'm just opening this one there. So that's what it can look like inside. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use a plastic one here. So again, fill it with soil. Nice and full. Now this one, I am gonna fill up. As you can see, I dug in and I took a big chunk of that one. And I'll show you why. Because this one here, this guy will do. I don't have a root ball. He is what we call bare root. There's no root ball like the other two where they came out and they had a clump of soil around. So with this guy, I stick my finger in. I'm gently gonna make sure the roots are submerged in the soil without tangling them. And I'm just gonna very gently 
firm them in without damaging those roots. Now it might not stand up right away, that's okay. Because what's gonna help them stand up? Water and light. And we're gonna get him that. Now he is gentle. So I take my watering can and I move it right out of the way and I bring out the spray bottle and we give him a and that's it. That's all he's gonna get for now until those roots develop. You've got to keep your handy dandy water bottles around and then he's transplanted. So then the other method I showed you guys how to do was doing your peas in here. These are the peas we planted a week ago. Okay, you can see some of the roots are poking out. Now how do you transplant out of here? How, how are we gonna get these guys out? So they're all roughly the same. All we do, I'm gonna have my pot ready to start with, so we'll go with a round one. Again, it doesn't matter, whatever your preference is, we can go over the pots again. I'm gonna firm that down, and I'm gonna dig out the center. I'm gonna pull the soil away, dig out the center. Um, okay, I can see which one I want to go for. By the way, I strongly suggest when you're transplanting, take your watch off before you start and don't wear a card again. Maybe save transplanting for Hawaiian shirt Fridays. See, I'm bracing all of those in, and I'm gonna flip my last one here, and I'm gently, very gently, squeezing the sides. Can you see them lift out? Voila. It's gonna take practice. You may drop some. It, it's unfortunate, I have dropped quite a few. Look at that perfect pod, look at those roots. You see them tangling up? You see the roots tangling up there? That tells me we need to get him transplanted. So same thing, I make sure that this is deep enough. I'm gonna put them in, just like that. We're gonna bring the soil back around, nice and gentle again. You can see the dark, damp soil there and our new soil. Okay, so you can see there is a difference. We don't want to go too deep, we don't want to go too high. We want the plant to stay at the same level. If we do that, he had a solid root ball, not a bare root. So we're gonna go with our trusty watering can. I mean, if you want to, if you prefer this, go for it. We're just gonna be doing a lot of spraying. They're ready for this now. So, oh, look at this guy, he's getting them. He's like, woo, what a party going on here. And there you go. Now. As your plants get bigger, maybe with this weather we're having, it's too inclement. There's all different sized peat pots you can use. I can't even separate these ones. But there's a peat pot. There's another big one. There's large plastic ones. Keep going up. What you want to be careful of, you'll see what I did there is I transplanted into rather small pots. You never want to go to too big of a pot. You can actually shock your root system shock your seedling, game over. You've gone all this, all this effort, you've gotten all of these seeds to grow, you don't want to stumble at the last hurdle. So that's why I used small pots like these. And you can see all of these guys are doing good. Now once I get them back upstairs to my office, I'm not gonna put them on a heat pad, remember, they don't need it. What I am gonna do though is make sure they've got a nice low light above them, they've still got their great moisture and we're gonna let them grow Next week, we're gonna see, and I'll do all of these off camera, everything will be all set. Next week, we're gonna take these same plants and we're gonna transplant them into a veggie pod, into a raised planter, and show you guys how to plant. So that's transplanting seedlings. Tomorrow, we're gonna to transplant house plants. That's awesome. Much the same, a few different things. It's more of an aesthetic thing than a growth thing, um, but we'll touch on that tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Uh, we're loving doing this. Keep it coming, keep your comments coming. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, any suggestions, feedback, we're loving it all. Have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll talk to you guys soon.